Butterfly gonna recap this and say God he caught a 30 on the dime, bro. So all y'all wanna know what happened, I'ma tell you what happened. He got smoked. That was crazy out of the game. Sometimes that's Peter, nobody that knows body. Hit his area with 51. Everything in the butterfly. We you still rapping like that? Bull Tour was about traveling all around the country to find new and hungry talent that we could help market through the premier battle league of the south. Now, it's time to see how they match up against the Bulls that already been here and knows what it takes. Bullpen Battle League presents Welcome to the Pen, January 9th, January 16th, January 23rd, and January 30th. That's right. It's a four week event with action packed bullpen battles going down in Atlanta, Georgia, hosted by me, John John and Don. We bringing that old bullpen energy back for the world to see what makes us nothing like any other battle rap platform. Streaming for free, live on the caffeine app. 5 p.m. Eastern Time to 9 p.m. Eastern Time. And we starting on time. Follow Bullpen Battle League on Caffeine and Instagram to stay updated. You can also join our Facebook group to get in tune with everything Bullpen. For tickets and more info, email bullpenbattleleague at gmail.com. Whether you in the building or you online, you do not want to miss this event. Bullpen over bullshit. More announcements coming soon. Just, let's just go go straight in. I don't I don't want no intro, no nothing. Uh, salute to John John and Don. Welcome to the pen. Going down the trailers in front. I just want to speak on this situation real quick. I put a blog up earlier with uh, Ace I mean, you know, getting that URL per se for not having the battle or, or the battle not being booked between him and John John. But I want to. Break down every round that I've sketched about a little bit more because John John and Don did go live tonight. He set a lot of things straight about the whole situation. He talked about the whole thing, you know what I'm saying? Everything that going. F the battle, now I want double, and everything else. I ain't going to play his whole live stream. I got a couple clips, and I'll put them towards the end. But like I said, let's start off with what he's been doing. You know, he has been having a battle rap tour. He has been going state to state looking for new talent and all of that. And he has a whole event coming up on Caffeine. Yes, we did. I did mention that before, and I will mention it again. Clone came out of there. Loso came out of bullpen. A lot of other talented MCs. But... He did speak on the fact that bloggers are reacting to the negative that's going on with him and Ace I mean, but I want to say it's it's funny that I'm a little skeptic, Cal. Have my people do some investigating, pal. YouTube for you John John fans that have yet to browse. <sighs> November 17th, 8th, 40 p.m. You posted up. Oh nigga, we kept the files. I kept the file. I did a blog on this whole situation with you and Ace I mean, and I did mention that I felt personally like, you, you know what, Pink the fuck. But uh, now it's coming back around full circle. So with the whole John John and Don versus Ace I mean, uh, this is a battle that I believe URL is pushing, you know what I'm saying, trying to, you know, in the whole era and energy of the rookies versus vets thing. You know what I'm saying? They're trying to get the vets to get battles with the rookies and things like that. And there are vets who will take rookies. You know what I'm saying? We've just seen DNA do it. Uh, JC's took some rookies. Uh, a lot of, there are veterans out there who will take rookies. But the thing is, John John and Don's stance on the whole situation was he's not taking Ace Amin on an app event because the app event cards only pay a certain amount of money. He's like, yo, if I take him, I take him on a volume car because I want that volume bag. That volume bag is that cha cha ching, and he's that's where he's standing with it. He's like, I'm not, I'm not looking at or doing this no other way. Now, as a blogger, it's my do. It's for me to do my research and to hear and to see and put things into my own perspective based off of the preponderance of evidence or whatever that may be, and. There are often times where battlers will feel like that all oh, y'all niggas is hating, y'all blogger niggas is hating. What I'm saying here is just my honest opinion. It's just literally my perspective, my honest opinion. Vada, you see what I'm saying? Chain say Vada too. That's uh, eight and a half carats too, by the way. Um, but it's my opinion. Um, 
Aesop Ming hasn't done anything to earn a battle with John John. Besides their little rift, the friction shit, like the, the, the street shit. Besides them getting into a altercation or a perceived altercation. I didn't see it. I wasn't there for it. It's not on film. But from what is being said, besides them getting into their situation, he hasn't done anything. That's John John's stance. He's like, he hasn't done anything. He hasn't had a battle that makes it worth him getting me. And, you know, he's saying that it, the way it's being promoted, a lot of these people are promoting it and pushing it like this battle is a big grudge match. You know what I'm saying? He's like, this is not a grudge match. This is basically y'all, y'all are setting the narrative. Remember that word? Y'all are setting the narrative and pushing the pen with this. And he's saying that he ain't, he ain't earned nothing. And I will say this. Ace Amin came in. So in that file, I did mention that this battle is being set up based on narratives. I did say that he hadn't done what you, what you feel like and what we feel like is 10% of the work to earn you. Everything, a lot of the stuff that you said in your live stream, I did previously aforementioned. I'm not naive to the fact or oblivious to the fact that you have done a lot to solidify your spot and you've earned where you're at in your career. Much respect to that. And John John, you know I rock with you outside the ring and all that. I actually ran into John John one day. I was in Atlanta and we was at like a hookah lounge. Nothing to do with no battle rap or nothing. Nothing, had nothing, he could attest to this. I ran into him just on some street shit and he was this, he's always the same. He never changes who he is. I ran into him, you know, we know each other. I know him, I seen him at a bunch of events. It's my man, I fuck with John John. And I dapped him up, we spoke for a little while, he did his thing, I did my thing, and we cool. But he has to know that when the stories are coming out with the battle rap shit, people are gonna talk about it. Like, that's just what happens. Like, blogs happen. And I did not, for, for me personally, I didn't run with one side of the story and all that. I did not, I never did that. I waited till I heard your side of the story. I seen what Ace Amin was talking about. I spoke on it when I originally heard about the story. I said that I didn't feel like he did anything to earn you and shit like that. And Ace Amin, his stance was, yo, you are all promised him to battle and shit like that. But whatever the case may be, at this point, I just want to see you smoke something. If, they, if y'all gonna battle, man, just smoke this nigga and get it out the way. Or, or y'all have a classic or whatever the case may be. Because this shit is dragging way, 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 way further than anyone probably ever expected. And like, it's, it's to a point now where I, don't, I just want to see a nigga get smoked. I'm not trying to push a narrative. I'm not trying to promote. I, whatever the case may be. If they're going to pay you what you said, you claim you want double for this shit, I don't blame you. You deserve whatever you want. I don't feel like no man is going to make you not battle or not show up or miss battles because I don't feel that way. I never felt that way. But I definitely respect your perspective and your angle, how you coming at it because you a grown man at the end of the day. You know what I'm saying? Go find that man and don't come back until you find that man. Be us enough butter to bake, bake biscuits for the whole block. So I know you get into what you get into and then you got the situation with caffeine. So I know, you know, niggas get into that paper. But obviously, y'all don't see eye to eye. And I said this before. Another thing I said was, this is the same kind of shit that happened between you and Jack. Like, a nigga, you went on a YouTube campaign, smashed your name in a bunch of different blogs, and, you know, all this other shit. Say you were scared to battle, I'm scared to battle, then you battled him and looked where it went. And I said, even if y'all were to battle, I don't see him beating you. But... The nigga's standing on what he's standing on. Now you done said what you said, and now he gonna come back and say what he said. This is what happens in the battle rap shit. Like, come on, John John, you have been around my nigga, you have been around long enough to know that when niggas talking down on you, you know what I'm saying, there are a lot of people out there who's gonna gravitate towards it and just take his side of the story. And my one, no, I've been doing this shit way too long. I got 30 million views, my nigga. One blog about y'all situation ain't gonna change the trajectory of what I got going on. But it is in me to cover it. The graphic is the graphic. I heard you speak about the graphic and shit like that. I've been doing that now. I just started doing graphics, you know what I'm saying, on the channel. I put the MCs at the bottom and shit. It makes it more of a production, my nigga. I can't just jump in front of a camera, B. I can't just jump in front of a camera and the shit don't look good, you know what I'm saying? If it cook good, it got to look good, big baby. We from the city, baby. You know my shit got to look a certain way, dog. So don't feel no type of way about that. But it is what it is. This is what... This, trust me, if the URL wanted to shut this shit down, they could shut this shit down immediately. They could. They not shutting it down because you know why? They want you versus him. They want to see that shit. So, 
You got to understand that we're going to talk about what we talk about because these niggas ain't shutting it down. Trust me, they're not going to shut it down. But they want you to battle on one of them store legacy, barbershop legacy joints. And I get it. I wouldn't battle on that shit either. Boom, 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 banging on the window. Nah, fuck all that. If they want to get you for the price that they need you, you make them pay you. Trish, <laughs> overcharge niggas for what they did to the cold crush. But other than that, you can get into John John's Live. Y'all niggas jump in the comments. Y'all let, let me know what y'all think. He not really feeling the narrative that's being pushed. Saying that, and I said this shit before, you know what I'm saying? But if they do battle, you know, I got respect for both parties, though, you know what I'm saying? I do got respect for both parties, that's why I spoke on what Ace I mean side was. Now, I'm speaking on John John's side, you know what I'm saying? I got no vested interest in either party, I fuck with both, and I respect what was going on here. But other than that, welcome to the pen. Going down Saturday, bunch of new MCs, new talent, you know what I'm saying? We'll make sure we get around to that, too. But I'm out of here, man. Y'all niggas bugging, son. Like, y'all niggas bugging, B. Y'all niggas ain't gonna battle, son. Like, what the fuck is going on with this shit? You know what I'm saying? Like, nigga, Ace I mean, out here wilding, man. You out here running, running, motherfucking city, running the muck out this bitch, man. Like, goddamn. Goddamn, Coke Price went up 10 grand this week. One. That nigga, man, look, niggas is crazy, bro. Niggas is. Why y'all doing this to me? Like, why, nigga, why are they doing this to me? For what? For what? For me to do some dumb shit and wild out and th then what? Come on. That's what I'm saying. Niggas got to be careful, bro. They're trying to trick niggas out their spot. Niggas try to trick you out your spot. That's what it is. They can't beat you out your spot. So they're trying to trick you out your spot. Now they're trying to paint me into a corner to where, oh, do this battle or else. And then turn around and say, well, we really just want the battle. Get the fuck out of here, man. Get out of here, dog. Get out of here, man. Fuck out of here. Niggas ain't getting no bad. Now, now I want double. Now I want double what we talked about. Now I'm going to make it even more impossible now. Then, now what's going to happen? Now what's going to happen? Niggas is crazy, man. Niggas is crazy out here. I swear to God, niggas is crazy. Now what's going to happen? Now I want double. Now I'm going to make it really hard for this battle to happen now. Really. Just to see what's going to happen. Now I want to know what's going to happen. Now I want to know what's going to happen. Niggas is tough, right? I've been hearing all types of shit. Oh, niggas got my address. Why nobody ain't pull up? Why nobody ain't pull up? If it's that serious. All this talking behind the scenes. Oh, like this nigga just... I'm not worried about this nigga, man. It's not him that's getting under my skin because I don't expect nothing different from him. It's the people that's entertaining this bullshit. Whose side? I don't give a fuck. You're supposed to pick a side. Who been here longer? Who you? Who been here longer? Who actually put in the work? Who actually grew with y'all as a culture? Who actually did that? And who, who came home from jail just trying to take advantage of every situation they possibly can? Who did that? And y'all letting this nigga manipulate his way into a situation. Now he's being mentioned with my name without doing 10% of the fucking work that I did. 10%. 10%. Ten percent. I'm entertaining it because my name is being played with, and I see the longer the longer I be quiet, niggas gonna try to paint that as me being scared to say something. I'm watching it in these blogs. I'm watching it. I'm watching it. I'm watching it. So y'all gonna make that a show? Y'all want a show out of that? I'm gonna make a show out of it too. Cause now I want to see what's gonna happen. Now, now, now. Come on, my nigga. Come on, bro. Come on. Come on. Let me see it. Let me see it. Let... I ain't even going to say that, man. Let me chill. Let me chill. Let me chill. I'm going to wait. I'm a... This is what I'm going to do. I... Do this thing got any other battles coming up? I'll go to that event. I don't even want to bring that attention to no events, man. I don't even want to do that. I don't even want to do that. But I like, I don't... I... I don't know, bro. I don't I don't know. But y'all gonna cut this shit out, man. Y'all gonna cut this shit out. Y'all gonna cut this shit out. Yo, soup, niggas is playing, man. Niggas is playing, bro. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. And niggas is really dick eating this nigga. I'm gonna keep it a hundred. Niggas is dick eating. 
That's a fact. I don't know this nigga from nothing. Because you've been around a couple events he was at. Come on, my nigga. Y'all niggas is crazy, bro. I agree to shit. I agreed under certain terms. And once them terms wasn't being met, I'm not conforming to what was, what was the initial agreement. I'm not. For what? For what? You all right? Y'all better clear this shit up soon. Y'all better clear this shit up. Y'all better clear this shit up. Because I'm trying not to say enough. I'm trying not to say too much. Y'all better clear this up. Y'all got this nigga running around saying whatever and people backing it like it's valid when y'all know damn well that ain't valid. Well, y'all know damn well that ain't valid. Come on, my nigga. Niggas is crazy out here, dog. You gonna turn this shit into something else, man. For real. You gonna turn this shit into something else. And then what? Then, 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 yeah, then what y'all gonna do? Turn around and blame me for shit escalating like y'all trying to do already? Like, come on. Y'all done turned this John John hate into something else. Before, it was just about the battles. Now y'all can't say, oh... Oh, John John keep losing. Y'all can't say that in the battle. So now y'all got to get behind some shit that's outside of battle rap and try to bait me into battling a nigga that shouldn't be battling in the same fucking state as me at the same time. Get this nigga out of here. Come on, my nigga. That's a fact. I agreed to the other uh, certain terms. I said, again, I hate repeating myself. They called me, asked me if I was in, if I was interested in battling this nigga to resolve the issue. Boom. They only say to resolve the issue so they don't have to pay me what I want. That's basically the basis of the battle. I'm not no dummy. Don't use the issue to try to get a cheap battle out of this. No. If I take that battle and I set this verbatim, if I take that and I set this on the phone with this nigga, if he say anything other than what I'm saying is valid, he he's some, he already some lying nigga. But anyway, if I take this battle, y'all just going to have to book me. I don't care. Y'all y'all book it. We can make it happen. But y'all turn around and try to offer me less money than what I'm already getting because y'all issue is... To resolve the issue. I didn't ask y'all niggas to resolve anything. Whose idea was this? Not mine. It's y'all's if y'all calling me. Cool. Y'all want to resolve it that way? Cool. No problem. Just book me. I didn't ask for a million dollars. Niggas is crazy. Then there was another battle attached to it. And it still was ended up me getting less than what I'm what I wanted for this nigga. But if we do the two battles, cool, I'm with it. Then the other battle ain't going to happen. So now, now I'm just stuck with one battle with the less money. Why would I take that to resolve the issue? Fuck this nigga and his issue. What the fuck? That niggas is crazy. Fuck this nigga and his issue. Now what? Now what's going to happen? Oh, I don't want y'all niggas to, to get physical and nobody get harmed or oh, whatever the case is. Come on. I'm not thinking about this nigga. I'm not doing a thousand interviews, ranting and doing all this other shit. I'm not doing that. I'm not sending subliminal threats through every. I'm not doing that. If this nigga feels some type of way, he got an issue. He can find his own way to resolve it. I'm going to be where I'm going to be. If I'm booked anywhere, flyers is going up and I'm going to be there. Ain't no no shows, nigga. And it's so crazy because I even tried to flip the whole gnome situation. That's what's so crazy to me. That's what's so crazy. Niggas try to act like I really faked having COVID. What the fuck? Come on, my nigga. So, so this nigga got enough power to blackball me. Because he went to jail. He got enough power to blackball me because he went to jail. How that sound? I just did a fucking tour. I didn't battle, but I'm there. I did a tour. Flyers up. I did a tour. 
Bro, like, literally, if it was that serious, nigga could have met me anywhere. Could have met me anywhere. So obviously the issue ain't that serious. Don't make it serious when the camera's cut on. Y'all niggas is crazy, man. Y'all niggas is y'all niggas is bugged out, man. That's this is why I don't watch niggas interviews and blogs because it really it, it really have me jumping out my skin. It really do. It really do. It really do. This whole new generation is is crazy. This whole new gen it's real convenient for a nigga. It's real convenient for a nigga to say John John can't battle nowhere. Once I, I've been talking for the past two years about chilling. Two years. Now I want to chill with, oh yeah, this nigga, you better not. Like, how nigga gonna tell me I better not do something I was already not gonna do? Just to try to add more stock to make it seem like he scared me out of battle rap? Y'all really want to run with this narrative? You, are you, are, are you niggas dumb? Are y'all dumb? Are y'all dumb? Because they could really get hot at every event. I'm not the nigga to even worry about to keep it a hundred. I'm not. But it could really get hot at every event. If y'all want to play it like this, cool. Cool. <laughs> if y'all really want to, like, come on, my nigga. This shit crazy, my nigga. This shit crazy. How I'm in a conversation with a nigga that never even finished three rounds. We talking about battle rap. Only because of something else that went outside of battle rap. And this nigga is on camera talking about, I would not battle John John because I don't like him. I don't want to battle him. Now, it's a whole campaign about him wanting to battle me. Now, I better battle him. Like, come on. Like, listen to the logic. Listen to the logic. One minute you don't want to battle me. Now you want to battle. Why is that? Why? Come on, my nigga. Come on, bro. He ain't going to fuck up nothing, tied up. He ain't fucking up nothing. You crazy? You crazy? You crazy? Stop playing, man. Bull Tour was about traveling all around the country to find new and hungry talent that we could help market through the premier battle league of the south. Now, it's time to see how they match up against the bulls that already been here and knows what it takes. Bullpen Battle League presents Welcome to the Pen, January 9th, January 16th, January 23rd, and January 30th. That's right. It's a four-week event with action-packed bullpen battles going down in Atlanta, Georgia, hosted by me, John John and Don. We bringing that old bullpen energy back for the world to see what makes us nothing like any other battle rap platform. Stream it for free, live on the Caffeine app, 5 p.m. Eastern Time to 9 p.m. Eastern Time. And we starting on time. Follow Bullpen Battle League on Caffeine and Instagram to stay updated. You can also join our Facebook group to get in tune with everything Bullpen. For tickets and more info, email bullpenbattleleague at gmail.com. Whether you in the building or you online, you do not want to miss this event. Bullpen over bullshit. More announcements coming soon.